what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're back with another preview and predictions y'all already know how this goes i'm gonna go through the match card lineup give my preview and predictions on who's gonna win who's gonna lose how things may play out and where the storyline could potentially go man also make sure you join us tomorrow for the night of champions live stream that should be a good time you know we have fun when it comes to the wrestling live stream so let's get right into this one man we're gonna start with becky lynch versus trish stratus do I care about this uh, uh this match? No. <laughs> I I just I don't care. And I think the reason why I don't care is because Trish's promos that she's been having have been not good. I'm just being honest with you. I, I don't remember Trish promos being this bad. They are boring, they're drawn out. You kind of don't really care to what she's talking about. I don't think her as a heel is not really working well, working well because the fans are not buying into it uh, at this stage in her career. Uh, the fact that they're piping in booze and stuff when she gives promos when Becky wasn't there lets you know kind of where this 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 situation and feud is going to. Uh, I don't have a problem with them like on paper fighting it's just this feud hasn't really has been interested in me it just hasn't so I, I honestly i'm not looking forward to this match could this be a good match hopefully so but i just i just don't i don't care uh it, it's something about their interaction uh trish's reasoning for turning on becky is, is kind of hollow um and once again her promos have not been helping this feud at all um me personally i hope this is a one and done situation i would love for this to be a one and done situation um i i could see them maybe extending this a little bit longer um just to have a, a, a another another match but honestly i'm gonna go with becky to win this just get this feud over with one and done i'm maybe have trish feud with somebody else maybe turn her face i don't know but one and done get i, I just don't care i hope <laughs> trish doesn't win and you know we get a rematch because i don't think this needs a second match one and done i'm going with becky to win this match so we can move forward and go on to to something else so that's what i'm going with Becky to win the match, hopefully. All right, SmackDown Women's Championship, uh, Rhea Ripley versus Natalia. Come on now, like, what are we, what are we, what are we doing? The, the fact that Natalia is her opponent is just, oh, get it off my screen. I don't care. Rhea wins. <laughs> like, so, honestly, Rhea wins maybe in a couple minutes. Make this match should only be no more than six or seven minutes get get it off my screen I, I i really wish you know hopefully Rhea can get a better opponent no disrespect to natalia but does anybody out there think natalia stands a chance against Rhea ripley absolutely not Rhea wins soundly hopefully in this situation but yeah Rhea wins this match we go on to the next one raw women's championship bianca belair and oscar now this is the women's match i am looking forward to seeing only because I want to see what they do here. Do they give Asuka the win here? Is the question. Because if Bianca wins, then this will be the second time at a pay-per-view event Asuka cannot get the job done. And it would be like, okay, well, what's the point? Do they have Bianca drop it overseas? That is the real question. Honestly, I think Bianca's going to win this still. <laughs> I just I, I don't I don't think they're gonna have Bianca drop the title for a while. Um, I could see Bianca and Rhea doing something later down the line, and I think that's what they they could be doing is building up Rhea as this the SmackDowns champion and building her up as this massive uh, uh, individual to counter Rhea uh, to counter Bianca. So I don't know. But I, I, I do think Bianca's going to hold the title for a while. And I, I say the same thing with Rhea. She's going to hold the title for a while. So Bianca will retain, and I don't know what they do with Asuka. All righty. Uh, Intercontinental Championship. Gunther versus Mustafa Ali. 
get a life kid <laughs> that's that's the motto of this damn match get a life kid that should let you know who's winning the match when brock lesnar has nothing to do with this match head into the ring on monday night raw telling mustafa ali mid promo get a life kid that should let you know how wwe feels about mustafa ali he is not beating gunther will they have a good match i i think they will but he is not beating gunther you can hang that up get a life kid mustafa ali losing the match gunther will retain um the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Now, this one, this one could go either way. I, I believe AJ Styles recently uh, called this the secondary championship. I mean, it, it technically is. It's literally, well, it's technically like that, the third place championship. But yeah, it's, it's not the main one. We know what the main ones are, and they're not being defended tonight. Well, not tonight, but uh, at Night of Champions show. That's to let you know. Oh, also, the United States Championship is not being defended at Night of Champions. That's crazy. I mean, I could have could have used the Austin Theory to be on there instead of Becky Lynch and Trish. Since we're doing a night of champions and all championships are de being defended, even though Roman Reigns is uh, <laughs> undisputed universal championship is not being defended. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Point is, Austin Theory is not defending the United States Championship on this program. But overall, I do think that um, I think Seth Rollins is going to win. At first, I was thinking it was going to be AJ Styles. But um, since I think he Seth is finishing wrapping up his filming of... of him on a, the one of the newer marvel movies that's coming out i do believe seth is gonna win the only reason why i don't think aj is gonna win because aj just came back aj hasn't really been in a prominent role in wwe as of a while even before he got injured outside of the edge and judgment day stuff he hasn't really been in a prominent role where you look at him as as a champion i think a lot of us want him to be champion and want him to be in that prominent role but he hasn't he hadn't really been like winning those you know those important feuds and matches like you you have won like you would have wanted him to you know what i'm saying to give him that extra momentum as a late seth rollins you can say the same thing but seth rollins has been i guess you can say more utilized more granted he has been putting so many people over i think a lot of people have been enjoying his work as a late even you know when he was just full-time heel and then you know tweener and now babyface i think people are okay with seth rollins being the world heavyweight champion uh, i don't think anyone would have a problem with aj styles did i just think him coming back from injury it kind of would be too soon and honestly you know I, I think if you're gonna give him you know we'll have him uh become a champion at some point i think it should be some build behind it not just so he got into the tournament he just so happened to win uh i think having him get some noticeable wins noticeable victories going forward you know maybe him being money in the bank winner you know that could be something interesting if they decided to do that but i'm going with seth rollins because i just it just feels like he's gonna be the guy to you know uh monday night rollins <laughs> will return hopefully this time it works out better than it did last time um but he's just gonna be the guy to carry that belt it's gonna become the workhorse uh main title championship you know intercontinental championships usually the workhorse title but for the world heavyweight side of things since you know our tribal chief is has a much relaxed schedule i think seth is gonna try to fill in those spots and uh um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with his title reign. Hopefully it is good, but I do have Seth winning. All right. Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of straightforward. Cody got his ass beat on Monday Night Raw. Got his arm storyline broken. He's losing the match. There's no way it makes sense for him to win. He's losing that match. He's going to have a valiant effort, but Brock is going to beat the living crap out of him. He's losing that match, and they're going to set up. It's going to be 1-1, one -one and they're going to set up one more match. Maybe at Money in the Bank. Hopefully at Money in the Bank. I hope we don't have to wait till SummerSlam, but they'll set one more match at, for Money in the Bank, and we get this over with. Some stipulation match, and we're done. 
Brock is beating the crap out of him. I just want y'all to know. I know it's going to happen because it only makes sense why Brock would, quote unquote, break his arm before the match. And that's that's how he's going to win. Cody's going to come out there and get destroyed. I don't want to see it, but it's going to happen. And they're going to set up one more match. One more match. And uh, hopefully there's a stipulation behind it. We get a stipulation. Uh, I don't want it to be a hell in a cell. I don't think it needs to be a hell in a cell, but it can be something else they do. Something, something, not a last man standing because we've already seen a good last man standing with Brock. So it has to be something different. Uh, Y'all let me know down below what stipulation should be for their third and hopefully final match probably going forward because we know Brock is winning against Cody. Just, it only makes sense, unfortunately. So that's my prediction on that. And finally, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus roman reigns and solo sokoa this is the match i am really really looking forward to this match right here i am so looking forward to because of the storyline and what implications may be uh heading our way um it's crazy to see kevin owens and Sami Zayn potentially going to be at night of champions don't know how that's happening but they maybe pulled some strings but it seems like that's gonna be the go um me personally it only makes sense for kevin and sammy to retain doesn't make sense for them to lose because the bigger story here is the the i guess you could say the dissension between members of the bloodline that's the bigger story that's the story that people are going to be interested in and I, I just have a really good feeling that the usos will get involved somehow Maybe the Usos, yeah, somehow the Usos will get involved, potentially. I don't know if they'll be able to travel overseas. We will see. But I can see maybe the Usos getting involved and costing Roman Reigns, um, um, costing Roman Reigns, uh, their, uh, Roman Reigns and Solo the, uh, the potential win. I think that's what's going to potentially happen. Either way, I'm looking forward to it because then um at that point now we're gonna have roman going against the usos potentially that's gonna i think that's the storyline they're trying to tell roman having issues with the usos and it's starting to get really personal within the bloodline you know roman i don't think he's gonna be defending the championship anytime soon so they're really gonna be going going uh uh um, deep into the storyline of the bloodlines issues usos and solo where does he align himself like it's gonna get it's gonna get uh it's gonna kind of, i guess you could say full circle how it started with roman and, and and jay and jimmy how their dynamic had to kind of come together ultimately you know what i'm saying how it was it wasn't all it, it didn't start off great it's it's now coming back full circle now it's it's these guys again but now it's starting to end in a bad way and I'm, I'm really interested to see how the story plays out i think this may be match of the night it's going to be some close falls uh near falls I'm, I'm looking forward to it but i'm ultimately going kevin on Sami Zayn to retain the titles usos potentially costing roman and solo the match and there's going to be some more issues with the bloodline going forward and that's just my preview and predictions on night of champions man uh overall seems like a decent it's a it's an okay card um to be honest with you the smackdowns women championship match i don't give a damn about the becky lynch versus trish Stratus match i don't give a damn about um all the other matches i'm i'm, I'm pretty interested in <laughs> everything else outside of those two matches i'm i'm pretty interested in but maybe they could maybe they could be good so i will be willing to give those two matches a chance if they are good hopefully they can put on a good show man so comment down below let me know who you think is going to win who you think is going to lose why and why not and where do you think these feuds and storylines will be going uh um well we'll be going forwards after night of champions but i appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still in the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace